set up an offshore port and oil. 
So by 2013, much of the worst excesses of Night City have been crushed under the ruthless heel of these mega corporations and basic services like police, firefighter, support services, they've been re-established. If the corporate masters were oppressive, at least to the average citizen, it was better than dodging gunfire on their way to the store. So, yes, and by 2020, Night City is a rapidly growing urban region. It's still rife with a lot of urban violence and street crime, but very strong economic growth in the corporate sector. So we've we're finding more peace. However, this corporate right place, it's just a capitalist nightmare, you know? Um, and it's devolved into an armed society, so it's not strange to see as many guns as briefcases on the city streets. The city government kept their control, but when things got out of hand, they relied on those corporations to step in. Deals got made, money changed hands, few people got killed, but others managed to avoid death. So Night City, far, far from Richard Knight's original dream, but it's working. Then there was a fourth corporate war from 2021 to 2025. Look at that, we're in uh, modern, modern era. So it got caught up in a power struggle, um, like other cities around the world. So this wasn't a Night City specific
Celsius with misty white fog blanketing. 